So how do you uh, describe your feelings after that one? I mean, it was an amazing feeling, you know, going out there, getting a dub, getting a dub. That's always an amazing feeling, you know, playing in it. So very special. Mm -hmm. Could you take us through halftime and just, you know, what was what were kind of coaches telling you? What were you thinking? You know, knowing that you're gonna have to come out and, and have to, you know, help them win. So the whole time I was really I was like, okay, go in and play like, like high school. So, you know, came in, coaches keeping me calm and all that. So, you know, just came in and played and try to help the team up. Mm -hmm. Coach Lashley said last week when Preston went in for Tanner, mm -hmm. maybe it was a little bit of a benefit that he didn't have time to think about it. it just kicked in right away. Yeah. Is that the same for you? Were yeah, you same, did it help? I was just ready to go in. So, no, same feeling. Obviously, that's you know a thought when you know your QB one's out. You know your backup starting. What was it like going through and, and taking the backup reps this week? You know more than than you've taken normal in a normal game week. Um, yes, it felt good. I had to adjust to it. You know, getting the feeling of everything, defense moving around, all that. But you know, coaches um, coach me up, players coach me up, Tanner. You know, so it's pretty good. Maybe a dumb question, but on the throw to Upshot, the first one that you completed in the second half, was that a confidence booster, or did you did you need that to get going? Yeah, it was really a confidence booster. You know, first play over the shoulder. Boost. Very special. Mm -hmm. Did you know right away, like off the line of scrimmage, like I see man, one on one I saw, press? Yeah, I saw one on one. You know, Upshaw, I know he's going to win for me. Put it over his shoulder, he's going to make a play for me. You mentioned Tanner. What kinds of things did he say to you on the sideline just to help you adjust to suddenly being thrown in the fire? Um, when I come off the sideline, he'll help me like, go over a play so we the whole drive. You know, just help me stay up after a bad play. You know? so. Were you nervous at all, or did you not have time? Not really. I wasn't really nervous, so I just hopped in and played. A year ago, you were playing Kimball, um, and you didn't have a didn't have a scholarship offer yeah. yet, D1. Um, just how do you describe the last year and getting via, getting the chance to actually get in and, and help your team win a crucial American Conference game? Uh, last year it was very crazy, you know. <laughs> Got in, we won state, so you know. And then coming in today, it was a very um, pressure pressure moment. You know, I came in and played like I like I know I can play. Does it feel a little surreal though? You know, just just if you think about it that way. Yeah, it felt real crazy out there. Mm -hmm. What is it like having veteran receivers like Upshaw and, and Rasheed to, to kind of have to throw to? Did they talk to you at all? Yes, sir. When I come to the sideline, they keep my head up as well. <laughs> talk to me, tell me they'd be there for me, you know, put the ball in every single they got it. What was the uh, locker room like? After, it was crazy. Everybody <laughs> was just going crazy up and down. Mm -hmm. Did anyone come up and say, like, you know, great job? Yeah, yeah. everybody, the whole team. Mm -hmm. yes, you, when you came in, you ran the ball or – Coaches called runs pretty much every play for the rest of the first half. Can you go a little more into the conversation at halftime? Did you ask for them to open up the press, the playbook more, um, or let you do more in the second half? Not, not really. They came to me, you know, just the game plan, go and pound the ball. They couldn't stop the run, so we'll pound the ball, and just win the game. So whoever it is, win the game, we'll do it.